Uh, here's uh, Kate. Kate, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, guys. Um, A-Rod's press conference is about to start. He's literally walking up right now. All right, well, uh, let's uh, bring up some uh, audio on this. A-Rod's about to tell us all what, uh, Dave? He is going to, you know, take uh, questions from the press corps about his steroid usage from 2001 and 2003. Who's all he got with him here? He's got Girardi right there. He's got Brian Cashman. I, ho I heard also he's going to be getting Andy Pettit, George right, explain, Posada. Explain to the people around the country who some of these gentlemen are. Well, Andy Pettit is a pitcher for the Yankees. We know that. Explain the suits, please. Okay, Joe Girardi is the manager for the Yankees. Brian Cashman, who's sitting right to the left of A-Rod, is the GM. So this is going to be, uh, you think they're going to go after him hard here, or this is going to be lobbing softballs? I think the press is going to try and hit him hard, I think. All right, here we go. All right. I think we have everybody. Here yeah. we go. They're, they're, Good afternoon, ladies. There we go. Let's go ahead and listen in. And, uh, welcome to George M. Steinbrenner. That's great to be here. Uh, I'm going to make this some is in very Tampa? important yes. uh, announcements here in regards to uh, a baseline that I'm going to form with uh, the reporters here today. Do you know who so this guy please, is talking? Uh, bear with I me. I think he's just a Yankees listen. public relations dude. First and foremost, please turn off your cell phones. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> it's a difference. Or at least on vibrate. My phone's on vibrate. Obviously, there's a lot of people here. We have two wireless mics. Oh, great. Uh, mic, <laughs> You're doing good for yourself. <laughs> mic the mic, but Things mic are the person. Happening. This is like Fez doing the warm-up at Omas. Oh! <laughs> Right. He sticks there, everything. There are rules that have to be put out there. I uh, another very important uh, left note, field. No pun intended. There will not be any follow-up questions. <laughs> oh, no follow -up. We need to get uh, to as many different people as we can. Once you are done asking your question, please give it back to Mike or Ed so they can move on to the next person. Oh, this is uh, to keep this go, as dude. efficient Shut as possible. Shut up and let's go. I hope his opening um, statement is Hulk smash. Following the formal Q&A, we will have <laughs> Yankees manager Joe Girardi at uh, one of the Yankee banners to my right. We will also have Brian Cashman at a Yankee banner to my so left. So the big thing Those here is he did take steroids. He's already admitted he's taking steroids. Right. And now we're just going to get some details. Uh, exactly. Hopefully it did your balls shrink. Is he back sure with his wife? No. no. Isn't she by his side she is at one of these gone. things? Yeah, she's by his wallet. Well, before I turn this over to Alex Rodriguez... Who? He's living very much like Anthony right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a new theater being built. Uh, next to Alex, to his immediate right is uh, Yankees general manager Brian Cashman. To oh, Brian's God. Right, Look how many Yankee pages uh, A-Rod has. I hope he doesn't start reading that shit. To my very far right, obviously, are a large contingent of Yankee players and uh, front office personnel and support staff. A couple of people that should be singled out. It, Hank Steinbrenner, who I think is standing somewhere in the back. Yankees general partner, and Felix Lopez, the senior vice president of the Yankees, uh, seated to my right. Oh, shut up. Uh, They're out of the picture. Said, yeah, we don't uh, care. Actually, correction, I do need to make special mention of uh, someone that we're very happy and privileged to have with us today. My uh, to my left, seated to my immediate left, is Don Hooten who many of you know as the president of the Taylor Hooten Foundation. Oh, he heard a uh, who, I remember. And his partner, partner at the foundation, Rob Hausman. Gentlemen, we, we appreciate you being here. Mr. Hooten and Alex uh, have begun a relationship. And Good for them. Information about uh, Don's foundation. <laughs> Seriously, it's the, the sickest thing that, I've ever uh, heard. He and Alex are, are going toward. By the way, before uh, we say anything, Alex gave a lot of money to sick kids. <laughs> will be made available uh, in an informal setting following uh, the Q&A process. Uh, with that, Alex, I'd like to turn this over to you. Uh, I know you have a written statement, uh, and then we will take uh, questions accordingly. Alex? Thanks, Joyce. First, bear with me. Um, no, no, I won't. I'm a little nervous, or a lot nervous. <laughs> so, uh, bear with me a little bit. <clears throat> In English, por favor. <laughs> Let me start by thanking the Yankees. Right, his speech teammates. starts with Lemmy. The, <laughs> first, <laughs> the, the first thing of his prepared sports. speech is Lemmy. The fact that you're sitting here me today Motorhead. means the world to me. The last couple weeks have been difficult and emotional. On one hand, Tell me about it's it, extremely brother. tough to admit mistakes. But on the other hand, it feels great to be moving forward. Does it? I know that I'm in a position where I have to earn my trust back 
and over time, I'm confident that at the end of my career, people will see this for what it is. And a stupid mistake and a lesson learned for a guy with a lot of baseball to play. This is amazingly personal Last to Monday, me. Last <laughs> Monday, I began the first step in the process of earning back trust when I sat down with Peter Gammons. I did so to accomplish two things. To tell the truth the and whole to truth. apologize to my teammates and baseball fans everywhere. But did you have to be so now blunt? the next step is to address the media about what I took and where it came from. On reflection, here's what I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I was I so fucked up in those Gammons. days. <laughs> In the year 2001, 2002, 2003, I experimented with a banned substance that eventually triggered a positive test. In September of 2004, I had a meeting with Gene Orjan. Lily is a rather good looking guy. Me I don't find him attractive. Okay, from which people I can't might tell. conclude that I tested positive. That was a specific. He has nice thing. eyes. That's about it. Because Gene I like his mom, Solera, and his step that Alki. He has a weird speech impediment. His S's are Spanish. Yeah, what are you going to do? Can't help it. That the tests that were taken in 2003 were requested and voted by players to determine the extent of the drug problem in Major League Baseball. Congratulations, you won the voting. Going back to 2001, my cousin started telling me about a substance that you could purchase over the counter in DR known as in the streets is known as Boli or Bole. All right, brother. El it was his understanding it would give me a dramatic energy boost and otherwise harmless. Jeez, I want some. My cousin and I, one We're all fucked more up. ignorant than the other, <laughs> decided it was a good idea to start taking it. My cousin would administer it to me, but neither of us knew how to use it properly, providing just how ignorant we both were. It was at this point we decided to take it twice a month for about six months during the 2001, 2002, and 2003 season. We consulted no one and had no good reason to base that decision. It was pretty evident that we didn't know what we were doing. But well, was it working? We did everything we could to keep it between us. And my cousin did not provide any other players with it. I stopped taking it in 2003 and haven't taken it since. I stopped taking the substance for several reasons. In 2003, I had a serious neck injury and it scared me half to death. I was scared for my career and truly my career after baseball, my life after baseball. Secondly, after our voluntary test, all the players voted for a major league drug policy. At that time, it became evident to me how serious this all was, and I decided to stop then. Since that time, I've been tested regularly. I've taken urine tests consistent with Major League Baseball and blood tests for the World Baseball Classic. Before I walked here today, I took a test as part of my physical, and I'll take another blood test next week for the Classic. Could you hand that out to the reporters? In the please? days ahead, I know that a lot of people are going to debate my past with various opinions. People are going to talk about are going to talk about my future as though it's already been determined. However, I realize that these opinions are out of my control.